vegan vegetable soup. A very good way to utilize the vegetables that you might have just laying around in the fridge. You can add basically any vegetable that you have. Just make sure that when you add in cruciferous vegetables like cabbage, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, broccoli, make sure you use less of those because they can dominate in flavor. We have carrots. Today I'm using purple carrots, asparagus, some peppers, firm tofu, tomato paste, green beans, quinoa, seven to eight large garlic cloves, rosemary, dried sage, dried thyme, one zucchini, celery, and onion, and about two tablespoons cornstarch. And of course, fresh ground black pepper and salt. First, let's drain the tofu. Take it out of the package, place it in a plate, then put another plate on top and weigh it down with something heavy, or in this case, I'm using a pineapple. This will press the excess water out of the tofu, making it extra, extra firm. That way, when we add it to the soup, it does not fall apart. We're gonna dice each vegetable, make sure all of them are more or less about the same size. Cut the peppers. Smash the garlic with the side of a chef's knife. Chop very fine. Dice the carrots. Cut the top, cut the bottom. When you're cutting something that rolls, you always wanna start off the middle. That way I can roll it over and now it has a base and it's easier for me to cut it, cut it to the right size. Turn around, dice the celery. Cut the asparagus, the same size. Cut the zucchini, one side off, easier to cut. Cut it into a dice. Dice the onion, the green beans, Chop the rosemary, grind thyme in a mortar and pestle, dice the tofu, make it nice, even dice. Everything is ready, now we can start cooking. In a large stainless steel pot, add about three tablespoons cooking oil, add the garlic, turn the heat on medium. And when some bits of it start turning brown, add the onions. When the onions start to become translucent, add the carrots, add the celery, mix very well. After about three to four minutes, the carrots and celery start to get a little soft on the outside. Add the peppers, stir very well. The peppers are gonna release some liquid. Keep cooking until that liquid evaporates. After about three to four minutes, you're gonna notice it sizzles a little louder. Then add the rosemary, add the sage, Add the thyme, stir very well. We wanna toast our herbs. This way we can release more aroma from them. After about a minute, add the tomato paste and stir very well. Once everything is mixed in, add about one cup of water and stir very well. Add the rest of the vegetables, zucchini, the asparagus, the green beans, the cooked tomato, add salt, black pepper, and add enough water to cover everything. Then stir very well, add water until you reach good balance between liquid and vegetables. Turn the heat to high, bring it to a boil. We have a nice balanced combination of sweet, sour, salt, and bitter. So we get the sweetness from the carrots and the onions. We got some sour from the peppers. We get bitter from the herbs. And of course we got salt and we get umami savory taste from the combination of the herbs. It's gonna be a nice flavorful soup. Once it comes back to a boil, cover it. Lower the heat to medium low and let it simmer. After a half an hour, all the vegetables are tender, crisp. Adjust the salt and pepper. Then add a quarter cup good extra virgin olive oil. Add a little bit of water to the cornstarch. Stir it very well to create a slurry. While stirring, pour the slurry slowly into the soup and keep stirring. The purpose of the slurry is Emulsify the olive oil into the soup so it doesn't have a film of oil floating on top and add a nice mouth feel to the liquid. Once it's all emulsified, the soup is ready. 
and there it is a delicious hearty and nutritious vegan vegetable soup enjoy bon appetit like and subscribe because there is more coming